I guess what's me. <laughs> okay, so here's my PowerPoint. I was like, I want a book, and books disappeared after like the fourth one. I was so excited, right? So <laughs> no, I'm I've been dying for a book club lately. Like you have no idea. This was what I needed. So thank you you for starting it and managing it because I'm, I'm way more excited than you even know yay okay now how the hell do you go to the next one is this not next thing? okay here we go so here we are and I did um crystal made all the questions so yeah for crystal hey Sam who's coming in so I read this book when I was 16 years old all right <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even, when I was 16, I feel like we were like maybe the same age, but I didn't even know it existed when I was 16. Like, listen, I, I was in summer I school. I loved it though. I didn't even know it was a thing. Yeah. I was in summer school and somebody, some people were reading the coldest winter ever. Someone brought this and I was like, no, I don't want this one. I want this one. My aunt told me, cause I wasn't an avid reader. So whatever stimulates you, read it. It did. I read this book in a weekend. I was like, wow, I like everything in <laughs> Probably yeah, right. why I'm a sex expert right out. now. <laughs> uh, uh, I feel like I should drink to your aunt. <laughs> I was just drinking to my mom. So my great aunt, but my mom's aunt earlier, like just this cheers to aunts, right? They right. do things you're, you're, sometimes you're, your parents are not able to do. That's that's the point of aunts and uncles and other, other family relationships. So... I'll go last, but let's go down the line. Crystal, did you have a favorite mm -hmm. story in the book? So I can't remember the title, but it's okay. the story about the couple that the lady was coming from the, I guess, the islands or wherever, and she was in the airport, and the TSA lady yes. at Ooh, Customs yes. wanted to meet her. Yes. That that's, was like, oh. I, for my, for me, I kept thinking like, oh, he he was into he was part of it, like he set it up, and he wasn't. And I was no. like, all right, that's cool. <laughs> I do you remember made me that. look at TSA differently. <laughs> yeah. You were like the next time you go to the airport, you were like, mm, let me see what's happening there. Uh, you want to check me? Don't you, <laughs> you want to check? <laughs> oh wait, yeah, that was a good one. When I first read it originally, I was like, wait, this is what they're doing at TSA? No. Is that part of the a job interview? <laughs> Tori, what was your favorite story in the book? I'm still scrolling on Kindle, so I can't tell you the name, but my favorite, and I don't know why, the TSA one was good too. I'm not going to lie. But my favorite that spoke to me was the couple that, um, she just got off work and she was just feeling it. And then the cops like pull her over later and they're like, miss, what's happening? She's like, oh no, we're all good. It's fine. And I, for whatever reason, it was just because it was all, maybe it's because it was all her. Like, right, she got off work. She was like, I felt good. I had a long day. My man picked me up and I was just like about it. And that and for me, that's what did it for me. She was just like, the whole thing was her control and what she wanted in her fantasy and she made it happen. So for me- that was the one that spoke to me. Excellent. Laura, what about you? So um, I think I might have gotten, so I got the book through Audible. Right. So on Audible, it's only going to give you the four most, I guess, reviewed ones. So you'll have to go off of those. Oh. Because I've done both. Yeah. That was a thing I didn't okay. realize until after, which is like crazy. Because you can get the whole thing on Kindle, but you can't get the whole thing on Audible, Damn. which is retarded. But still worth a good go back That's because crazy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I was like, oh, these. I was like, I don't remember those stories. But anyway, out of the four that I got to listen to, um, I really like the one where she gets a telescope and she's like watching her oh. neighbor. <laughs> and then she just like totally goes for it and I'm like oh that's fun I love right? it she got it out she of her give, system she didn't give a name she didn't give nothing she just fuck it that's it yep I yeah, love that that was a good one and, and like I don't know if we're at that one. I don't know 
Uh -huh. Oh, I don't know if we're at that part of the uh, book club right now, but I just feel like the whole book was very much female empowerment, right? Yeah. Like yeah. she has that's decided this is what she wants <laughs> and she, yeah. she loves it. And that, that's why I loved it. Cause it was like everything. It's like, even if it's a TSA one or if it's mm -hmm. the, the couple in the car or the, the all telescope, of them. all of them, she decided this is what she wanted and she went for it. And I don't know. A lot of the other, uh, I'm just my opinion right here. Some of the other things. And again, I didn't even know this book existed until like Lulu and, and Crystal told me to read it. But for me, I was like, I didn't even know this existed. So a lot of the other, the items I have read have been very like, we entered a relationship and I don't know how we're feeling and it's romantic. And this has just been, Dane has been like, nope, I was feeling it. Yeah. This is what I felt. And then I did it. And this is how it went. And I loved it. Fiend. And that's and that's what I love. Yeah. So Sam, what was your favorite? Because I know we read this in high school. We read it, read it, read it. But um, reading it now as an adult, how was it different for you? You're up. Your turn. Um. How was it different for me? I. Well, first we gotta do what's like... your favorite story. So that's the question in between. Well, what's my favorite story? Um. Okay, my favorite story out of the four that I listened to because I got the Audible, mm -hmm. but I did uh, obviously read it before. Um, I think my favorite story was the the barbershop one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't think that was. Oh, is that the one where she just like walks in and is like, "Oh, sorry, I know you're close. I just need a quick trim." Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, that was also a good one because I've never envisioned myself just like walking into someone's business. Yeah. And being like, no, you're close. Just kidding. So I love right. that as like as like a fantasy piece. I'm with you, right? Like I've never had the guts to like walk into someone's place and be like, mm, I would like you, and you're close, and you're alone. Like that's why it's a fantasy, <laughs> right. right? Like that yeah. that that was a good one too. Um, yeah, that was one. And um, as far as what how it was different reading it this time and or listening to it this time as opposed to reading it the first time was um a lot of it now when I was listening to it was like I don't know when I, I read the book the first time it didn't seem as I want to say crazy to me but as I listened to it I was like well these girls is wild like when I read it the first time I was like oh okay yeah that sounds like some shit I'd probably do. But now that I'm listening to it, I was like, the hell? Like, these girls are crazy. They just in here. Like, just, okay. So, it was definitely uh, reflecting. <laughs> yes. So, for me, for the Audible section of it, the Audible, all the written for me was always the gym. And I like the gym because the one video that she did do was about the gym. I still have it if anybody has a mm. VHS, I mean a, a DVD I'll share with the group. Um, but just that whole thing that she was watching him from a distance. I got you. So I, I can I, still watch DVDs. I got you. That she was watching him from a distance that you know they was like singing and he was down for the shits too. Just magical. There was a snowstorm. I mean what else can we possibly want from that? And then also the bachelorette party yeah. was just next level, right? Um, yes, like where did they write the name down? Uh, I, I, I feel like the bachelorette party is everybody's like, again, this whole book is fantasy. It, it, that's well, actually, it. It no, like, because a lot of no? people actually submitted these stories. If you, at that time, we went to her website, people oh, okay. submitted stories. She just kind of like better. So she's more nervous. Yeah, or nervous and um, addicted, and then yeah. that's when people were sending it in. Mm -hmm. So okay, I didn't know. I didn't know that, but even better, like right, just like exactly. it, in my in my scope, I was like reading it as like someone's fantasy, you know, to to for, to get to A to B, right? Mm -hmm. but, and just knowing that it's like other people's stuff is even more exciting but again that's that's the point at least for me right, right. books are still an escape for me mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if it's a fantasy escape if it's a sexual fantasy escape 
if it's like intellectual in some way, or if it's like team building is an escape, right? My mind can go to somebody else's home and thought. And then, you know, later I can figure out how I feel about that thought, but it's nice to be in somebody else's world. I mm-hmm. loved being in, Zane, in Zane's world. Like it, it, in my head, there are moments where I'm that confident and I'm that expressive <laughs> and I'm that like, right. Like there might be moments, uh, but like, it's not my everyday. So right. like being able to read it in one CD, like just was very empowering mm-hmm. for me anyways, just to feel like, okay. And again, the whole thing it's from her perspective. And I really love yes. that. It's not from like a, uh, from first we had a date and we get both sides and it's very it's not like a Nicholas Sparks where it's very romantical it was like mm. again that's why I loved the couple from the car even that's like the shortest one of the shortest stories it yes. was like she got off work and literally was like nope now we're happening this is my situation and we're gonna have fun with it because of, of just just mm-hmm. wherever my blood flow or my emotions were at that time and, right. and so that's where I loved it it was like you, you don't get a lot, at least I hadn't experienced a lot of uh, the other way where the woman is like, here we go. Yeah, so I loved it. How I feel like it compared for me <laughs> now, especially from being 16 to now, listening to it, I was like, God, they say a lot of like pussy and they like real aggressive. I was like, oh, they are saying these things. <laughs> when you listen to it on Audible, you like, okay. Yeah, I got it. Um, yeah, all right. That, 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 part, that part. I was like, was I reading that? Was I reading it like in a soft voice? <laughs> you know, hearing it real loud. <laughs> pussy. I'm like, okay, got it. Got it. There was pussy. I understand. <laughs> uh, whatever. And the pre the pre pretext, I'm not sure what she called the foreword, right? So I right. read that part and that helped me. I don't always read that part. That's why I'm saying it. I don't always read the part, but I read that part where she was like basically get in or get out i'm expressive if i'm not your mm-hmm. flavor it's fine and so like for me reading that was like all right i'm zane right now like i understand mm-hmm. like she's pulling from people and she's just trying to make her path and it, it, she's very just like i'm not gonna be for anybody for everybody and i and i don't care and that was and that was great yeah i agree so for anybody anybody can answer we'll go through it but which, excuse me, which story could you relate to in your, maybe one day you felt real froggy or maybe in your fantasy, you was like, I will just do this to this person, <laughs> but maybe you just never got to it. Maybe it's on your bucket list. Which story kind of could you relate to in the form of this would be something I think I could accomplish or have accomplished already? Hey, anybody can go. I actually, so I, 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 I have done the barbershop thing okay Um, i I didn't get a trim or anything but i just was like hey you know you're pretty cute i went to take my nephew and he was like all right come back at i was like okay cool so right there in the barbershop yeah it was fantastic Hmm. laura you were saying something go ahead next um i actually could relate (laughs) the most to the gym story where it's like that slow burn of the chemistry between the two of them uh-huh. and like he finally noticed her but one of the things that I really liked about it is that she says that he's not the greatest kisser but she wants to like do all the things with him anyway because she's like I've been waiting for this I don't care about like what's happening I just want him so badly and I'm like I get that yeah I I, I like that and it made it feel like very realistic too because like yeah because it ain't gonna be perfect. You were like, "Oh, I thought you was like all around, but you can't see." Like, all right, but what else you got? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Um, when reading it at this point or listening to it at this point, how did those make you feel sexually? I, for me, I was like, "Damn, should I really have been reading this at 16? God, this is graphic." <laughs> At the same time, listening to it again, and my husband's like, what are they saying? <laughs> Even he looked like he was blushing, like, wait, what? <laughs> Why are they so aggressive? So listen, I was reading this, so I don't know. It didn't sound aggressive in my head. So, but it makes you feel again, like Tori said, that's of empowerment. You're like, yeah, fuck it. I can knock on somebody's gun, but like, pull your pants down. You know, whatever. <laughs> I feel froggy one day, had a couple of drinks and go for it. 
Uh-huh. So we no, we me, had it was huge to be like maybe I I know it sounds stupid just to get in somebody else's head, but it's like maybe my head's a little weird if I'm that aggressive on occasion, and then to read somebody being and not and not to put words in Zane's mouth, I haven't met the 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 lady, but then to meet somebody like in 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 her mind is like 10 times more aggressive than me and then writes about it was very comforting right like it's like okay this is and i hate to use the word normal and i hate to be like but like sometimes we still like to feel safe right no matter what the the situation is but so to feel safe in a like hey I'm also potentially a sexually aggressive person wherever the boundaries may lie and it's been written and maybe there's other people that like potentially feel the way I feel was very comforting even though she wrote this 20 years ago like I loved it that was a lot of good points for right now you're like wow okay great Crystal you're gonna say something yeah um like you guys read it at 16 it was one of those books like we we did book circles so everybody would get a different book and I remember my mom just like looking at the cover and she's like what are you what are you reading and I was like you know it's just a it's a group book and I'm sitting there going wow these are some things that probably would never happen in real life right and now I'm like yeah that shit would happen most <laughs> yeah. the more we know yeah, right like, now right none of that stuff happens to me right. right in your in your adulthood right that your adult privilege opens other <laughs> doors for you <laughs> did you did anyone share these stories with anyone like now you know tori the whole family's upset with you because you didn't invite them to the book club so now they're gonna go read the book <laughs> and follow up did you listen Dude, to it in front of man right, mad right now they're mad no i i read it like a jerk because I have too many like I don't know leadership books on Audible right now, but I was like, hey, my erotica can be read, right? It's my special time, so I did not necessarily share what I was <laughs> learning about. But uh, I, I mean, and my husband's over here, so he can maybe attest that I did tell him like, oh, I read this, and the verbiage here was like this, and this happened like that, and is it, like they did open some questions like. Uh, I didn't know. Maybe could that be a turn on for you? Or I did not know that that could be a turn on for me. So regardless, and 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 Laura and and Sam, you 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 haven't met me and my husband yet. <laughs> Hopefully, you will someday in this book club. It would be great. But uh, we've worked in the uh, sexual health and wellness industry for like eleven years. So uh, many people think there are oh whatever they've done everything. It's over. But it's not right. Like relationships still take work and there's Mm -hmm. still plenty of things we haven't discussed. And strangely, books are an easy way, at least for my brain, to kind of like open that up where it's like, oh, I read this. It sounded interesting. Like it's 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 hard to bring those things up out of the blue. But somehow for me, at least having some research or like even if a friend like if Lou Will had said her. a little sexy if you just like (laughs) jump in your car after work and just like hey i want it what's up take your skirt off right i'd be like hey a friend mentioned this how are you doing like we've been we've been together for 13 years so there's certain things that you you, relationships are work no matter what right don't worry y'all are gonna have to leave right the next the next trade show she's gonna go to the room and knock and be like just don't even say nothing (laughs) You're gonna put a wig on. It's gonna be a new person. Lulu, I'll be working the whole nothing. time. Okay, we 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 take day we take days off after the show. <laughs> that's that's the point, right? But uh, get a quick I'm saying, it just opened. It's a little. It's a little gate to open that communication, which is so important all the time. And it's really hard to remember that this this communication gate about your 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 wellness, your sexual wellness, and your intimacy is so important. And it is very important to the partners that you let in. And so whatever you can do to let let those partners in in whatever fantasy, I think is great. So this is going to be our next book. It's Zane. It's the Sisters of APA Alpha Five Buckham Fraternity Incorporated. Um, this one is almost the beginning of the one about the bachelorette party. So the whole book is basically like that. <laughs> now um, I have so I'm really excited 
Yeah. Like the warning exclusive content on the cover. <laughs> Just doing a pass by, got it. Yeah, right. so as you can see, explicit content. And this Thomas. is going to be, how are you? Wait, he, did, he didn't hear what APF stood for. Lulu, could you go one more time? He'll be excited. Uh, Sisters of Alpha Phi Fucking Fraternity Incorporated. <laughs> it's work. Okay. I got a book club. I got a commitment. Okay. I got a read. I like it. She's going. He's like, wait, what did you say? He's like, oh, okay, I like this. I uh, know he's singing to you all. Can you hear him? <laughs> well, you should definitely pick like two stories out of the first book and let him read those ones that you think would resonate with him. You know, oh, yeah, I should let him read. Yeah, that's a good idea. I should let him read the ones I like. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Definitely for Mm hmm You can read it before our um party on Thursday when we meet again. Yeah, because they're short stories. I'll just pick my two favorite. That's a good idea. Thanks, Lulu. So Babe, you gotta read my two favorite so we can talk about it next week. He's not listening. He says, okay. So he's being my mom's here. He's entertaining. My yes. mom so, and my Mandy. My, so this is my lovely ending because anytime I do podcasts, I, I mean um PowerPoint, I never get to the damn end one. So here it is. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. No, it looks great. That's that's all you need. A little virtual representation. And here we Ooh, are. Now back in our seat. Um, our students. Let me put everybody back in their chairs. Here we are. And so Lulu, I'm curious, what was what was your favorite? I talked a lot, but 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 how about you, teacher? What did you learn from this? So again, reading it at that age, I was like, yeah, again, I want to be in something that involves sex because I like all this stuff, right? And then reading it again and hearing it, I was like, God, this is really explicit. I got to turn this down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening to it as I clean stuff. Like, yes, she is <laughs> explicit. I think, I think I. I was like, I don't know, maybe 50 pages in when I was like, maybe I need to like break it up. I can't finish this in all one sitting when she was like, oh, it might have been the barbershop one that I was like, and she was talking about how she was just like at the edge and uh -huh. oh, don't get me wrong. I love her explicivity, but I was maybe not ready for it. Like at that juncture where she was just like, I'm at the end and I'm spread eagle and you can, I'm trying to like do it, but you can't see it. Like, <laughs> all, and then I was like at the edge of the seats and you could see everything and I loved the description because it was a great description right yes. but I was like I can't read this front to back right this second I gotta make dinner <laughs> yeah so it just like I said for me originally reading the book I read it in a week and I've never read a book that fast ever in my life I was like oh look at this, this is amazing this is good stuff and so it was like wow there's a lot of free people they're just out doing it you ain't asked the man for his name. You was monogamously searching him for six months, just being a creep. And then you went and basically molested the boy and just left. Like, not a telescope saw you. What if the husband would have looked through the telescope? See, that now those things are happening in my mind. What if people are like, oh, I want to see what she's looking at and saw them having sex through the telescope? What would have happened? See, that's and the see, other part. That's how I thought that story was going to end i thought it was going to end with it like turns out the husband was like watching through, through the telescope and then but i, I also kind of like that she just was like i did it it was totally anonymous and i love my husband anyway like <laughs> right left him a little souvenir Here's I, a I will say i was surprised i will say that i was surprised that a lot of women were already married like the one who cheated with her godson's kid the but god but her kid's godfather or whatever right 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 i but, but i got it like it's not it's not for me but i understood the writing of it because right the fantasy was there right, and the right. and the relate like i understood it but yeah what i what i react on in general oh but mm -hmm. it was nice to read somebody in their brain reacting to it like, it's almost like, 
I could I could play random fantasies in my head without actually having to act on them. And mm-hmm. I know a lot of people do that, but it was it was it was a perfect it was a perfect example of it. And I think couples, the couples one was the one where they went on vacation, where they went away for the weekend and they were out this just doing it in the rain. And you you can see that, you know, someone has you on a balcony and now your clothes are wet. You're like, oh, that is nice. All right. That's just a bare skin rug. But you can just see the whole thing very visual. Very, we're going to make a reel about it later, Crystal. You know, those kind of ideas. <laughs> Tori and, and yeah, Ryan like are going to have some videos in the background. Yeah, we're the, we're the... No, I'm just saying, like, you can understand the spark of where it came from. And then she takes it to this place where you're, you're like, I can enjoy where the fantasy went. But, like, some of it is like, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do anything with my godson. Let's be honest, but it's nice to imagine. And then you can kind of put that fantasy to bed. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. So the the other book, like I said, the next one is, it gets more meat and potatoes. There is a lot of, I was just like, wow, where, where is this group at? I would just go and watch perhaps because I'm just trying to figure out what is really happening here. For that one, Definitely make sure if you get it, I think on the Audible, it has a chapter, so I believe it's the full book, but do make sure, because I definitely want you guys to totally read that full book, because that has a lot happening. You're like, wow, you're going to really start to look for these groups. Like, where are these people at? Do we not know them? Maybe we already know them at this point. <laughs> professional women so have is regular... So more of like a full story? This one is like a full thing. It's no broken up stories. It's a full thing about a fraternity. This is Sisters of APA. Okay. And they go to different events. They have annual events where it's just fucking all night with random people that they've handpicked. There's no, there's aliases, there's wigs, there's this, you know, it's just a fest of things happening. They have sorority names, Sister, Rodham Dick, you know, that's their name. So no one knows any real name. Right. So we got PhD people. We have business owners, lawyers, doctors. But well, when they come to the fraternity, this is what it is. When they have their conventions, that's what it's about. So it's like a fable almost, but in one whole story of a fantasy fable almost. I mean, for me, I really, at this point, I'm not sure if it's fancy. We in this industry, I'm not sure. The group may be out here somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> they based out of Washington, D.C. I don't know. They get kind of wild out there in D.C. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, we, we might service them already. We don't know. This is true. This is true. He keeps buying a lot of bulk lube, doesn't right. she? <laughs> Before, before I get going, I, I, I just I just want to. F- uh, where can I find Zay? Zane, can someone introduce me to her? I'll be like, do you need blue? I help you with that, girl. What do you oh, need? I, I would. I would love say I, I would say I know who knows her, but we're not gonna go there. But she is on. I follow her on on the Facebook, so we'll talk about that after. Oh, that's a, that's a different situation. I I would love to help her in any capacity I could. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, for our next meeting, are you guys available February 19th? I should be. It sounds like a good date. Um, does anybody know what day of the week the 19th is? That would it's help Saturday. me. It's, it's going to be Saturday. Saturday? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good then. Yeah. So we're going to play around with the Zoom a little bit more and see if we need to move to the stream yard and see if that's a little bit better because I hate buffering. It pisses me off. But again, you know, we're going to be sharing it on our Xbis everything, right? <laughs> on both our YouTube channels. And, you know, we'll just get ready for the next As one. You know, and if you want to invite other people, let me know. We'll send them an email. Send me an email with their info, and we'll send them out an invite for the next meeting. Um, yeah, we'll put up our calendars. We'll try to give more okay, reminders. I'll, I'll send you Mandy's information right now because she's... <laughs> Do you guys need like different reminders? Because I know we have a lot of things in our calendar and sometimes emails may get lost in translation. Um, should there be an additional way that we kind of send it out? I don't have any carrier pigeons, but you know. 
I think the the two the two messages that Crystal okay. sent were were plenty for me. Yeah. Okay. Um, and again, I mean, I, I I live by my uh, Outlook calendar, so as long as you send me an email email yeah, saying, "Hey, it's at this time. Here's your link," I save it. And I'm good. So thank you. Okay. 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 Great.